guys, what is up? This is Tamer from ITT, iTalk Tech, giving you all your latest news, reviews, and how-tos for everything tech. Alright guys, we're going to do a comparison between the iPad Air and the iPad 4. We're going to be doing a Wi-Fi test to see the new how the new iPad Air um, stacks up between the iPad 4. As you guys, If you guys don't know already, the iPad Air has two antennas on it, and it's using this MIMO technology. All right, um, Apple is stating it's going to be two times faster um, than its previous generation iPad, so we're going to have to put this to the test. All right, so to put this to the test, we're going to use the speedtest.net app. So what we're going to do right now is just open this up right now. All right, and we're just going to click begin test right now. All right, so we're going to do this test real quick. All right, as you can see for the downloads, it's um, on the iPad 4, we're getting 11 megabits down, but on the iPad Air, we're getting 23 megabits down. All right, for upload speeds on the iPad 4, we're getting about 1.8 megabytes per second, and then on the iPad Air, we're getting about 3.53 uh, megabits per second. So these are some drastic numbers, guys. They're not lying when they're saying about two times faster. As you can see, the downloads are about two times faster, 11 to 23, and the uploads are about almost two times faster, too, from 1.87 to 3.53. So these are some pretty good numbers, guys. So we're just going to do this a couple more times. So we're just going to run it again a second time. So restart test. And we're just going to restart test. Alright, on the iPad Air, we're again seeing some really good numbers. 33 megabits per second down. Those are some pre pretty crazy speeds right there. Alright, so then we're going to test uploads right now. We're getting about 5.5 megabits per second upload, guys. This is pretty good. I like where this is going. This is some nice technology. It's not 802.11 AC. They haven't implemented that yet, but this is a pretty good start for it. So now we're just going to test it again. We're going to test them both together right now. So I'm going to test the ping out. All right, 20 milliseconds, 17, good. All right, for the iPad 4, we're getting about 10 0.53 megabits per second and then on the iPad Air we're getting 23.56 megabits per second and then for uploads we are getting 1.66 megabits per second on the iPad 4 and we're getting 3.62 megabits per second on the iPad Air so pretty same differences we're seeing so right now we're just going to test the iPad 4 just by itself right now and whoa that's a that's a fluke right there because we're getting 33.9 megabits per second for download and about 5.3 megabits per second i don't know how that happened but we're just going to check the history right now as you can see our top two downloads for both of them were about 33.9 on the ipad 4 and 33.89 on the ipad air I don't know how the third iPad 4 got 33.9. Must have been a fluke or something like that because it's not constant. Because as you can see with the iPad 4, it's been getting 10 and 11s while the iPad Air has been getting constantly 30 megabits per second. So we're just going to run it one more time, both of them together. And so we're just going to test the ping. Right, see, that looks more better. See, on the iPad 4, we're getting about 7 point, or no, about 8 point. Um, 9 megabits per second and then on the iPad Air we're getting 25.11 megabits per second download while for uploads we're getting 1.88 megabits per second and we're getting 3.42 megabits per second um, upload on the iPad Air. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe like share and comment peace